Hi there, this is David, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Heroes Trails of Cold Steel. Last time, looks like the Watchtower got attacked, but Calvard also got attacked. But thankfully, we didn't get attacked. We pretty much just learned about Elisa's relationships with her mother and grandfather, what happened to her father, all that kind of stuff. But I'm sure that that midnight attack is going to pop up pretty soon. And, of course, we have to talk about food. Oh, yeah. Well, I guess you guys are, you know, teenagers. You're growing kids. Yeah. That is true. Oh, well, that's nice. You'd wrap it in bamboo. That's different. Okay, sure. I guess, like, the bamboo leaves you could wrap it up in and then tie it in a string, I guess. Oh, they're so hospitable. Love them. Oh, the grand list? How many tasks do we have to do? Oh, just one? Seriously? That's it? Um... Okay. Well, that's easy enough. It's just a monster extermination quest. Yeah, no kidding. That's a lot fewer than yesterday. Oh, okay. Go off the beaten path a bit. Sure thing. Oh, that would be a nice thing for you to do, Elisa. Yeah, you kind of left the party early. Just a sulk and whine and plain. It's what you do best. Oh, that's nice of you, Usus. Yeah, then maybe Usus could actually, you know, be in the main party. But, nah, don't really want to have that. Elisa's new craft is really good. I like her in my party. Hey, what's going on? Hey, what are all you guys doing here? Is everything all right? Oh. Oh, yeah, about that attack, I'm sure. Oh, man. Oh, what else happened? Well, yeah, we know that Calvert was attacked as well. So Calvard's probably going to blame Erebonia for the attack, and Erebonia's going to blame Calvard for the attack, but I don't think that either Erebonia or Calvard was at fault. To me, it sounds like there was a third party involved. Seeing as Calvard was attacked first, and then Erebonia secondly, but we didn't really get to see where the missiles were coming from. And now we have our flying snowmobiles with no propellers, well, I guess there are propellers in the back, but they're not even moving. Like, how do these things stay in the air? They're the odd-looking airships I've ever seen in my life. I mean, at least in the Final Fantasy series, they'll have a propeller on top, or they'll have, like, some sort of balloon or something, you know? Like a Zeppelin. Oh, so I guess that was the Calvardian... Airships? Two of the guards died? Oh no! I hope the two that we spoke to were... are okay? Like the ones that actually had names? Uh-oh. Deployment to where? To Calvar? To invade? Or is it just a defensive measure? Where exactly are they going? Well, they do move quickly. Oh. Well, what are you going to do? Oh. Okay, I guess you guys are going to, um, you know, do what nomads do best and move the settlement somewhere safer. Somewhere further away from Zendra Gate. Maybe over by Lake Crema. Oh, yeah, that's a pretty good idea. 
Definitely. Oh, well thanks. That's nice of you. Well, why don't you go take pictures of the damage, you know? You could write about it in the Imperial Chronicle. Let everybody else know about it. Maybe you can also take pictures of the damage of the Calvardian base as well, and let them know that, you know, both of them were attacked. Oh, okay. Well, great. Oh, great. And that's where our one piddly-ass quest is. Yep. We have to do the southern area first, so might as well. Hey there. What do you have to say? Oddly enough, this quest seems like it's an optional quest. The one quest that we have to do is optional? That's odd. So I guess going to Zendergate and all that is the required quest. Oh, a giant made of stone? Really? How odd. Yeah. Huh. Does it resemble that stone giant up in the Northern Highlands? Oh, how unusual. Yeah, so do I. Okay. Southwestern area of the Highlands Northern region. Oh. Uh, we'll keep that in mind, but something tells me we'll be taking it out for you anyway. Oh, well, thanks. Okay, so now we need to head on down to Zendergate, and rather than ride on through the Southern Highlands, I'll just meet you there. So, whenever we try to leave for the, um, gate, we get a little scene right here. Oh, yeah. You know, you have a breaking story. I agree with Lisa. Something here is not adding up. No. Whoa! Oh, we haven't even started yet, Norton! Man, always whining, complaining. Come on now. Those are armored cars from the Imperial Army. Damn, this isn't looking good. No kidding. Well, here we are. It just took us half an hour to cross the Northern Highlands. Oh, they got their tanks all set up and everything. Oh man. Oh. Okay. I guess since this is an active military, uh, investigation, he does have to get permission. Yeah. And who are you? Oh, hey, Vander. What's going on? We are just looking for you. Oh, yeah, just double-check to make sure everything's all right. Oh. Okay. Oh. You want us to leave, but we still have an optional quest. We can't possibly leave now. Oh, well, I guess it is for our own good. You know, Calvar could attack at any moment. Yeah, and this would be the first place that they would invade. Even though, again, Nord is not Erebonia. This is an entirely separate country. Yet, they really do act like Erebonia and Nord are one and the same. It's rather odd. To me, it sounds more like a territory or a protectorate of Erebonia. Yeah, who did attack first? Oh, we don't know. Wait, oh... So, we didn't retaliate either, yet Calvert was attacked. So that means that there was indeed a third party involved.
Well, yeah. Two people died and three are injured. Oh, you think that Calvard sabotaged their own base in order to justify attack against Erebonia? Huh. Maybe. Yeah, sure. Maybe. Sure. I don't know. Oh, far greater. Well, then maybe they didn't attack themselves. Yeah, we kind of got to get moving here. Great. Well, no one said that war was right. I mean, so was wrong. Oh. I don't know if I would let teenagers into an active military investigation. Well, that is true. Oh. I would feel bad for Gaius if he had to run home uh, right now, not knowing if Nord was going to fall under attack from Calvard, not knowing if his parents and his family were safe. So I totally get where Gaius is coming from. Oh, no, 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 Gaius. We're here for you. We're your friends. Oh, well, good for you, Yusus. Yeah, that is true. Oh, that's right. He did say that. Huh, I already forgot about that. Okay, we have till 12.30 to conduct our investigation. And then also fight that weird-ass monster up in the Northern Highlands as well. So not a lot of time, but I guess we can get some stuff done. Okay, makes sense to me. Thank you. Really, I appreciate it more than you know. It's no big deal, honestly. I agree with Elisa. We're classmates after all, and more than that, we're friends. Well, this is clearly of great importance to you. I know you want to protect your people, but that's not the only reason you're doing this, is it? You got me. It ties back into why I accepted the Lieutenant General's recommendation and entered the Academy, too. I'm sure each of you feels the same about your own homes, but I love this land with all my heart. The wind racing across the highlands, the vast mountain peaks, the clear blue of the sky, the breathtaking beauty of the rising sun, the melancholy of the sunset, the twinkling of the stars in the twilight. I love everything about this land of Nord. It's part of who I am. Wow. I guess it hadn't sunk in how much Nord means to you. I'm certainly attached to Ruer, but I can't think of anyone else who would state their love for their homeland so poetically. If you love it so much, why did you leave it behind? If you truly love Nord, if Nord is such a part of you, what is it that drove you to enroll in a military academy in a foreign land so far away? <laughs> I'm not surprised you'd find it strange, to be honest. I'm still not totally sure what compelled me to do it. Back when I was a kid, the Republican Army built a base in the Eastern Plains, and the Imperial Army responded in kind with the Watchtower. It's made me more uneasy with every passing year. Years ago, a traveling priest from the Septian Church taught me all about the history of the continent. One thing that stood out to me was just how many lives had been lost during the conflicts between the major powers. Another major theme was just how profound of an impact the Orbal Revolution had on people's lives. Even the concepts of time and distance have changed so much. In effect, the Orbal Revolution shrunk the world. It made me realize a sad truth, one that kind of scares me even now that there was no guarantee my homeland could stay at peace forever that one day it might be drawn into outsiders conflicts and be occupied and redistricted into oblivion i can't 
can't believe you were thinking about such weighty things even as a kid. So then, you joined the Academy in order to learn more about the outside world that posed a threat to your homeland? Yeah, something along those lines. When I realized how afraid I was, I knew I couldn't close my eyes. I wanted to do something, anything, to protect this land. As luck would have it, I met the Lieutenant General. He's the one who told me about Thor's military academy. One thing led to another, he offered me a recommendation. And before I knew it, I took him up on his offer. So there I was, green as grass, heading off to study abroad despite having no clue what life in the Empire was like. Thinking back on how it all came together, what you said is probably what I was thinking back then. Honestly, I've yet to hear a student offer a more galvanizing reason than yours for enrolling at the academy. <laughs> To agree, I don't know too many people who love their home so much that they leave it behind to find a way to protect it. It's not a sentiment I can imagine many Erebonians feeling, that's for sure. But I think I finally understand. Elisa? Um, just an idle thought. But having heard Gaius pour his heart out to us, there's no way we can just walk away from this. Not after the people of Nord gave us such a warm welcome and treated us like family. Indeed. I couldn't have asked for more. Agreed. We'll get to the bottom of what's going on here and stop war from breaking out. Nord may not be our home, but it's still an important neighbor. I'll do what I can to aid you. Thanks, all of you. Really, thank you. Oh, that was sweet. Wow, this place really is in shambles, isn't it? Man, it's a mess. I guess they're investigating looking for a shrapnel or something. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, well, this is what war is. You're in a military academy, Elisa. I mean, of course you would see casualties sometime. Yeah, no kidding. We shouldn't really handle it, we should just kind of observe it. Help out where necessary. Well, if you say so, Rain. Okay. Oh, well, sounds like a plan. was easy enough. Yeah, we kind of know. Okay. Okay, sounds like a plan. Nothing else to do. Might as well. Huh, reminds me of, like, uh, what Lloyd had to do. Well, let's start this investigation just like we're real members of the, uh, special support section. Be kinda cool. Oh, yeah, poor guy. Rome, huh. Oh. Wasn't there a guy named Rome in the very first Star Ocean game? Wasn't he the one that got, like, that petrification disease? Or no, 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 no. Was Rowan the name of the planet in the first Star Ocean? I don't know. Was it Doan? I don't exactly remember. Good game, though. I like the first... Actually, I like the first, second, and third Star Oceans. Fourth and fifth, not so much. Oh. I guess that's the side that's facing Calvard. Wait. Not? So it's a side face in the Highlands. So the attack didn't actually come from Calvard, it came from the Highland side. That's unusual. Yeah. Well, let's keep on looking around. What you want to do is talk to everybody around here, as well as um, visit all the little red exclamation points around here as well. Oh. Well, that's good. Hey there.
Oh, so they're setting up shop to uh, invade as well. Well, if they see us bringing our tanks and our airships, uh, and mounting them and gathering them, aren't they gonna do the same thing? And then, you know, we'll start a war? Can't we just call them on the phone and discuss this, like civilized adults, and tell them, hey, we didn't actually do anything, let's investigate this, we really don't want to evade you, we want to have peace with you, so please don't evade us right now. I mean, I don't think it would work, but maybe. Unless they really are using this as an excuse to invade us. Oh. Uh, if you say so. Yeah, there's... I mean, there's some soldiers out here. Not a lot, though. It would take quite some time to, you know, bring in all the backup from Erebonia. Oh. Hey there. Oh. Okay. Will do. Or try not to get in their way. Okay. You know, wouldn't you think they would have some people up on that watchtower up there, like, really looking around? But I don't really see anybody up there. Maybe it's just not stable enough right now. Oh, Poor guy. Yeah. Oh, okay, so yeah, it was that guy who was talking about how bored he was. Or no, okay, so Zatz was the one who was talking about how bored he was, and Roan came up to relieve him. Wow, that's sad. Yeah. Oh, poor guy. Wow, you know, you really can't beat yourself up about something like this. It's not your fault. There's nothing that you could have done. You know, it was a night just like any other night. I mean, no one expects a missile to come flying at you out of nowhere. No kidding. All of this really isn't adding up. Yeah, I don't think it was Calvard either, but why do you think that it wasn't Calvard? Well, what happened? An explosion coming from the base. Yeah, well, we saw that. Yeah, just a, about a minute or so. Like, it's really, you know, it happened really soon. Okay. Too bad Lloyd isn't with us. He would know exactly what to do and what to say. Oh, what's this? Well, we'll get to see Lloyd in the sequel. As well as in the third, too. Yeah, what is that? It looks like a missile. Or a shell of some sort. It's a Rhineford shell! So that's Erebonian. If this was Calvardian, then it would probably be a Vern. Type shell. Hmm. Yeah. So, number one, it was fired from the Highlands, not from Calvard. And it was made here in Erebonia, not in Calvard. No kidding. Would they even have access to that? Wouldn't you think that there'd be some sort of embargo or trade restrictions between the two countries? Because they really don't get along. No kidding. Okay. So now we need to piece all this kind of stuff together that we got. Well, it was in the middle of the night, and then Calvark's base was attacked, then this base was attacked. It's pretty simple. What time? Well, Zat's already told us what time it happened. It happened at 3 o'clock in the morning. Y 
Yeah, so both bases were attacked at 3 a.m. Yeah, but why would Calvar get attacked more than here, especially if the attack was uh, put on here in the Highlands? You would think that this base would have gotten hit much harder than the one over there in Calvar. Unless there were two simultaneous attacks, you know, unless their base got attacked from someplace inside Calvard as well, and then we got attacked by someplace inside Nord. Yeah, I'm thinking it was a third party. Yeah, I'm with you too, Usus. It seems that way. But who and why? I wonder if that little blue-haired girl has something to do with it, the one that's flying around in the robot who's spying on us constantly. I don't see why she would want us to start a war, though, but eh, maybe. She's here in Nord, being weird. Oh, yeah. Yeah, actually, we did, Elisa. Yeah, definitely. Okay, so what she's referring to is the weapon that was used. And if you choose 3 a.m. in the weapon that was used, you're going to get some extra bonus AP at the end of this little event right here. Yeah, I agree with you, Elisa. This is totally somebody else's doing. Yeah, they have the Vern Company. Oh, okay, so this is old stuff. I wonder if it was stolen or they found it in scrap or something. Oh, or the black market. Maybe it was Jaeger's. Who knows? Yeah, no kidding. Oh, what's that, Yusus? I don't. Yeah, that is a good question, but didn't we say it was somewhere in the highlands? Because the southern side of the tower got hit the most, which is the side that actually faces the highlands, rather than the Calvardian side getting hit. Oh, yeah. That is true. Oh. Do you have an idea, Emma? And yeah, what are you gonna do? Oh, you're gonna use some math. Oh, I hate math. Math and me, we're not friends. We don't get along. Uh, if you say so. Oh, okay. Well, great. So Elisa isn't as useless as she normally turns out to be. Man, good thing Emma's with us. But hey, yeah, get her extra AP. The location? Well, yeah, it was from the south of here. I could have told you that much. They said the southern side uh, of the watchtower was hit, so of course it's it was fired from somewhere on the southern side. Wow, Emma. Wow. I thought that you would give us a better location than that. Well, the southern side was hit, so of course it was fired from the south! Well, frickin' duh huh. What are you guys talking about? Applied physics and all this. Um, it was an easy observation. Well, it was hit over there, so it must have come from over here. You know? <laughs> uh, whatever. Sure, if you guys say so. 
Everyone's so impressed by this calculation. I don't see where it's so impressive, but eh, whatever. Okay. So now we have to cover the entirety of the Southern Highlands because it came from somewhere to the south of here. Thanks, Emma. Frickin' brain trust. Well, yeah, it hit the southern side, so of course it was fired from the southern side of the watchtower. Wow. They're acting like this is like rocket science, like they would have never figured this out if it wasn't for Emma. I don't think so. If they fired this rockets at 3 o'clock in the morning and now it's, you know, at 10 o'clock in the morning, I think that they are long gone. But can we figure out who fired those rockets and get to the bottom of this mystery? Find out next time. Let's play The Legend of Heroes Trails of Cold Steel. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe. And have a good day.